All right, we got a half a case of contenders here. I think it's time to bring down the hammer. The sledgehammer, that is. Here we go. Good luck. A couple more break spots left for the evening. We'll see how that goes. I usually break until midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. We'll see how it goes. But for now, let's break. Good luck. All right, let's take a peek at who got what up in here. Half a case contenders. Kenny Smith, the one spot with the Chargers. Dave K rocking the Dolphins. Dave E, you have the Chiefies. Sean O'Mac with the Eagles. Josh B with the Broncos. William G, Mr. Contenders, has the Bengals. Buccaneers for Brian Swarthout. Colts are for David K. Mark C, first break ever in the world. Maybe his second. He gets the Baltimore Ravens. The Bills are for you, J. Rye, and the Cowboys. Eric K with the Packers. Niners for Josh B. Steelers for Joe T. And the Vikings, good team to have. Brendan S. And then you see the following 15 down here. Your numbers correspond. So if you're number two up here, you're two down here. So Dave, you got your Lions and Dolphins.
Anybody offering up any trades? That doesn't happen too often. Falcons, Patriots, William, and Texans, Titans, Dave. You guys can trade if you want, yeah. Denning was telling me that the website, they like the new design, the clean, easy interface, but he says it's adding extra steps to check out. Do you guys feel that? It's supposed to actually be less steps to check out. I installed new PayPal things that's supposed to make it a lot easier. Bill wants to trade away the Patriots and the Falcones. Patriots and Falcons on the board for trade. So are the Gi so are the Giants. Anybody? There are extra steps. There shouldn't be. There should be a check out with PayPal button. You're supposed to just go to the PayPal thing and check out. What other extra steps are there? I'll call my PayPal guy tomorrow and find out why it's doing that. Maybe I'll purchase something tomorrow myself. I'll buy one monster buck. Confirm the purchase. Hmm. All right, there are no trades. Your teams are, you got what you got. I'm trying to think of what I could put in here, a bonus for you guys, if we get an auto from a man on the box. If we get an auto from a man on the box, what do I have out there? I'll just give somebody $50 break credit. We should get an auto from a man on the box tonight. $52.20 break credit. $52.22 for a man on the box auto. That will be Justin. Jerry. Joey. Tua. Clyde. And or Jordan. Jalen Hurts got dissed. So we got too many quarterbacks on there. All right, well, thanks for the tip. Denning told me that, so I will look into that. But it's really, I thought we made it so that it was less steps. Oh, my God, what a decoy. All I saw was Chargers... It's an 84 rookie ticket, K.J. Hill. K.J. is not a man on the box. We're having windstorms out there because we do live in the Windy City. Hopefully it doesn't blow the internet off. Is that possible? Number to 99, Mr. Miles Garrett, Brownies. Who's this dude? Oh, I'm sorry, that's Cradell Hodge, another Cleveland Brown. 
Tua took his spot again. I know. Damn you, Tua. I'll get you. I'll show you, tell you what would be dope. Miami Dolphins versus the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl. Sledgehammer. I mean, we kept on these single and dual boxes of contenders, so why not just do a half a case? And that's what we're doing. Right here, right now. CJ Henderson. CJ is a rookie ticket. That'll be going out to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags are owned by Kenny. What's up, Kenny? I grew up with a Kenny. It sure is, Josh. It sure is. I can't wait to sell all of his cards that I've been hoarding since previous to week one. For those of you who may have been paying attention. There's a keeper, potentially. Wolford. Rammies. There you go, Mark. Look at Mark C. It's one of his first hits. He'll always remember this. Outstanding. He'll always remember John Walford, he'll be watching football this season. All of a sudden, John Walford will come in. And he'll be like, man, I remember buying in that guy's crazy breaks and got John Walford as my first hit ever. Did I say we were doing for Chatter's win, or did I not? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. On card, C.D. Lamb. The Dallas Cowboys. Owned by J. Rye. Sweet. It's a rookie ticket. C.D. Lamb. Going to be playing with the uh, $360 million man. Or whatever he got. $156 million. I lost track. Oh, yeah, when he got a concussion. <laughs> he got a concussion, didn't he? Poor dude. He's out there trying to be dope. Ends up getting a freaking concussion. I think he won that game, though. One down. Is it Bill? Bill G's local. Bill G comes in here. 
why is my contenders grossly underpriced? Score! I'm just trying to move out a lot of stuff, to be honest, before I move into the new place. Like, I got a lot of these contenders, so that's why I'm able to do it. But don't get too spoiled, Bill. I'm anxious for you all to see the new shop. All you locals who can be here. Nate Stanley. Clyde Edwards contenders. I don't even know if I've ever seen a Clyde Edwards contenders, have we? One ninety nine playoff ticket. The Honey Badger. Grossly underpriced, Josh C. Grossly underpriced. It's Chris Strebler. You know, Chris Strebler from the uh, Cardinals. Duh. Number 15. Hey, Bill, let me ask you something since you're local. Well, I don't think he's local to Elgin. He lives a couple towns over, but... I'd like to do break nights live in the studio. Or live at the shop. Where you just buy your spots and leave with all your cards. Why are these cracking open like that? How many autos we get out of this box so far? Nate Stanley and Streeter Bill. Yeah, we got a Streaver. <laughs> if the shop, yeah, sure. Sure. There he is. See, that's why I haven't seen a Contenders Auto, because they're all redemptions. Clyde Edwards, Chiefies, David E. Rocking the Chiefs. You got a rookie ticket RPS. And I forget what RPS stands for. I should know that, but I literally forget. Rookie Patch Systematic. Rookie, poten rookie Potential Psych. Johnny Hightower is a Philadelphia Eagle. Sean O'Mac. Do they put golden tickets in this year's? The Eagles. Because I got a golden ticket. I got a golden ticket in my hand. I've always wanted to do a live blitz mix with everybody in the room. We're going to do it. Like Sunday afternoons, doing football games. Come over, we'll do breaks, watch football.
mean, we can still stream it out to the feed. There's Ezra Cleveland. You know, good old Ezra Cleveland. Oh, yes, he is. Someone gets $50 holla. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> My short-term memory strikes again. Don't let me forget. Now you got to remind me to do it at the end of the day, at the end of the break. Someone's winning What if I said, man, if we pull auto from every man on the box, everybody gets a refund? What if I said that? Thought I had something dope for Chatter's win tonight. Tom Brady. Malcolm Perry. So far, we're two for two on number of autos being correct. Oh, t-shirt. I'm going to do a t-shirt here soon. I'll just need your size, whoever wins it. Quez. Rookie ticket. Number to 80. You guys are quiet tonight, man. What's up with that? That's what happens when I try to talk less and let you guys converse instead of me rambling on. Ramble on! Led Zeppelin 4. Thank you. It's a Johnny Hightower. Another eagle to go with Qu Quez Watkins. I think he was hanging out there with his boy, Johnny Hightower. I've seen them signing at events, the rookies. They just sit up at a table literally for hours. They sit up at this table for hours and hours and hours signing. Just they just chat it up. Panini walks around, puts hats on top of the rookies, and takes them back off, and then uses them in the Panini products. It's kind of cool. They wear them while they're doing the signing. 
at these events. Like um, the draft. Other events that they have. I sure hope those days return. I miss them. That's why I got in the business, really, in this hobby. Was to do those events, and I miss them a lot. 99. James Connor. D. Johnson. Another Brown. Who has these Browns? This is like your third or fourth auto. David E. with the Browns. You must be excited about that. Ken Smith is like, I don't care about anything else. Just pull me that damn Herbert. Man on the box. Joseph Burrow. Bengals. William G. Nice hit. It's about time. Outstanding. Rookie ticket. I think his redemptions are all signed, so fill that out. Send it in. You should have... The card in a matter of a week or two back to you. Lamar. Man, he's going to be coming back playing with a vengeance. You know, you can almost feel it now. Lamar ain't messing around anymore. DJ Dallas. <laughs> Grossly underpriced. You like that one, Josh C? Everything is grossly underpriced here. Do you know why? Everything is grossly underpriced here. Even my spot prices. Because everything is grossly overpriced. So it's easy to be grossly underpriced nowadays. Where's Bill G at? He fall asleep? I meant to ask Bill G what brokerage he's with. What brokerage are you with, Bill G? We're with Keller Williams. We used to be at Charles Ruttenberg for a long time. Dope. Look at this. Super Bowl champion and Charles Haley. Josh Barker on a little bit of a heater lately, hit wise, man. You got a monster FedEx on the way. 
probably monsters in there. Who knows what's in them? I don't. Tommy does. I do not. Nice hit, Barker. Oh, you're Baird and Warner? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Packed up your trout bat today also. Uh-oh, we have the right colors. We have the right colors, or is it a ram? Is it a ram or a charger? And if it is a charger, which one is it? It's a ram. It's our boy, Raymond Khalis. Khaleesi. Speaking of Khaleesi and Game of Thrones, how about that segue? Coming out soon, probably within the next month, is basically a premium version of Game of Thrones. And there will be Khaleesi autos in there on like premium cardstock kind of stuff. It's going to be pretty big. Also, don't forget Leaf Pearl Hockey. It's the highest end product Leaf makes. I got to get that on the website. Even though it's hockey, you're still going to want to be in it if you like hunting monsters. Number 299, it's a playoff ticket. Tommy Stevens. Good old Tommy Stevens. Barker, do you got a nice bat display for it? I'm sure you do. If you don't, order one a while so that you can put it right in it when you arrive when it arrives. You know? Michael, not Samaje, Pyrene. It's the wonderful Jets, which are owned by Jay Rye. Jason Riley on card, LaMichael Pyrene. I'm sure you prefer a Chief, but it's not. This guy's legendary, that's Steve Young, let me tell you. Let me order you one from Fanatics. I could probably get you a dope Angels one, Barker. Don't order one yet. Let me see what Fanatics has. I'll get one for you. T. 
Tim Patrick, rookie ticket stub. Do I know who Tim Patrick is? Tim Patrick. Little help. Little help, y'all. It's a ticket stub. Which I think are dope. Number to 49, Isaiah Simmons, Cardinals. <laughs> he does. And now here today to talk to you about short sales. From Remax, broker owner Tim Patrick. Bill, do you like hanging out with Realtors? Don't lie to me. Do you like hanging out with Realtors? You know, I never really liked hanging out with Realtors, to be honest. I, I didn't see the point of spending all of my time hanging out with Realtors. And their jackets and their pins. I'm not down with jackets and pins and stuff and Realtors. Like, I need to be out finding clients and selling things. The other Realtors are not going to do it for me. But if you like hanging out with Realtors, that's fine. It's good networking. It's just not for me. I do have to brag on my wife, though. She was Rookie of the Year for the Chicago Association of Realtors for CAR, which we're a member of. And she won other top producer awards. And when you go to that CAR thing at the House of Blues, did you ever go to that? The House of Blues thing with CAR? <laughs> Zero friends in the industry. I mean, you got to have one or two. You don't have to, but we do. All right, I just never understood. Like, let's get together. Like, who has all this time? Like, oh, let's do this luncheon. Let's do this presentation. Let's do this dinner. Let's do this event. Like, sorry, I don't have time to hang out at your real tour event. I got clients to serve and houses to sell. So y'all have fun here with your coffee and donuts and dinners. And your infinite number of classes. What happened when your mortgage broker took your money? Are you a buyer's rep mostly or or listings or what? If you ever get any short sales, Bill, my wife is the woman. I'm telling you right now. Her website's thekellergroup.net. She's a true superstar when it comes to short sales. I'm not just saying that because she's my wife. She's been doing it for 12 years now. She has a passion for him for some strange reason. There's going to be a massive influx of short sales in the coming months. Six, eight months. This is real estate chat. I don't know if they did golden tickets in this this year. I know we'll take a clear ticket. Let's get a clear ticket mosaic for somebody. <gasps> Ooh, decoy colors. It's Perkins for the Rammies. 6040 listings. Got it. Seems like there's mad buyers out there now wanting stuff.
Yeah, my wife was wanting us to refi also. You know what I told her? I said, I don't feel like dealing with all the paperwork and all the stuff. Let's just, I mean, really? Refi right now? J.K. Dobbins. Ravens. Who dat? Mark C. again. Mark, are you still here? Hello? I mean, my wife would handle all of that. But I think, yeah, the mortgage is in my name, so I'd have to, being a business owner, I have to gather up all my, just I hate doing it, all my pay stubs or tax documents, uh, sales sheets, freaking, all that. All to save what? $550 a year? Not worth it. Are you having fun, Mark Corrigan? Watch Mark Corrigan win. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Mark, because if you're subscribed to the channel, I'm going to run a thing called Chatter's Win after this box, and somebody's going to win a t-shirt. One of these. Hot bad boys. It's DJ Dallas. Once again, DJ Dallas. Seattle Seahawks. Joe Tall. What's up, Joe Tall? You like J.K. Dobbins, Bill? Or do you like the Ravens? Is J.K. a Dobbins, uh, what is he, Ohio State Buckeyes? Oh, no. Are you a Buckeye fan? Oh, the Ravens. Why the Ravens? I used to live in Baltimore. I love the Ravens. They're my AFC team I root for every year. Next to the Niners and uh, the Bears. So when both of those chumps are out, I'm left with usually the Ravens to vote, root for. Clavon, Chase on, Jags. I think he was hunting for Joseph J. Burrow. Who pulled that? Firehead? Fire Crown? Jeremy the Fire Crown? Did he pull you that card? I called it. I was feeling one of these clear bad boys. Hey, look, it's a buccaneer. Nice. World champion, Kashan Vaughn to 10. Buccaneers are owned by Brian Swarthout. Cool. You win. Oh, I did? <laughs> I don't remember. Sorry. Oh, man. Jerry. <laughs> Always listening. Always listening. You know what? Just for that. I'm taking your fire crown for the night. That's like the biggest diss ever is if you take somebody's fire crown. It's like in wrestling if you use somebody else's move or their phrase. I just took Jeremy's fire crown.
crown of fire. Oh, yeah, I remember it now. It's Devin Asai, number to 99. Patriots. Man, this stuff is fun to open. Maybe I should put up a dual box and see what's out of what else is in this case. Devin Asai. Oh, what could we do? A $99 triple teamer? 10 more autos? Josh C, never forget. Three, two, one. Here comes an auto. Card number 302. It's a Chiefy. Damian Wilson. David E. Rocking the Chief E's. And that'll do it. That's what a half a case of contenders looks like. Let's go back through. See what we got. It. I'm going to go ahead and say this was dope. Joseph J. Burrow, rookie ticket. I wish it was Jalen, but it's Hightower and the cut up ticket of Quez. Malcolm Perry in the middle. Chiefies, Damian Wilson. 99, Devin Asai. There's the clear ticket. Um, Buccaneers, who hit that again? That was Brian Swarthout, my dude. What up? Thank you. Um, it's Clavon, Chase on. DJ Dallas. Mr. Dabalina. Uh, Bryce Perkins, 99, Logan Wilson, Trey Diggs, Tim Patrick was what team did you guys say? Trey Patrick, or uh, Tim Patrick, from uh, Remax, LaMichael Pyrene, there's our boy Tommy Stevens, 99er, Khalees, Charles Haley, Dallas, Johnson, Ezra Cleveland, C.D. Lamb, was he from Oklahoma? He sure was. John Walford, hang on to that one. Crazier things have happened. There's Cadero, not Merle, Hodge, C.J. Henderson. Chargers decoy of KJ Hill to 84. There's Johnny Hightower again. There is Clyde. Clyde Edwards. Nate, not Paul Stanley. And of course, our boy, Chris Strievler. Kenny Smith with the Chargers. 
There's a Lamar Jackson 99er for Mark C in a 99er Connor. There were not appearing to be any other. Oh, I lied. We had this Honey Badger and Miles Garrett. Nominated for Man of the Year. You can bash people inside the head with a helmet and be nominated for Man of the Year. I don't know if he won it or not, but he was. He's a good dude. 